So basically, the 3D workflow can be divided into four steps. First is obtaining the digital 3D image. Now, uh, I might use the term 3D image or 3D model interchangeably. Okay. So, dono ek hi cheez hai. Now, obtaining the 3D image, it can be either of the two ways. One is from the CT scan. Patient ka jo DICOM files hongi, usme se we can generate the 3D model using the process called as 3D segmentation. Okay, jo ki aaj hum karne wale. Second is the easier method, intraoral scan aate hain. So, second step is editing. We take the 3D model, we edit it or we create a surgical guide. Whatever it is, uh, I kept it under 3D uh, editing. Now, once you are done with the editing, you are going to generate the STL model. STL model that is going to be fed to the 3D printer, which will print. Karega. Okay? Now, we feed the STL model into the printer and it is going to do a process called a slicing. Okay? I will show you what slicing is. So, abhi bas dekh lo, ye char step hai. we obtain the 3D image, 3D model. We do mock surgery or we create a surgical guide. And then we generate the STL model, the final model that we want to use and then we print it. Okay? So, obtaining 3D image, as I said, it can be with a CT scan or a CBCT, okay? Or easy method, intraoral scanner. Baki sare steps, I'll explain. In edit, we have the mock surgery and guide fabrication, surgical guide, beat implant guide, beat resection guide. Okay. So, by 1.30 p.m. today, I'll make sure at least you are... A little familiar with the process called as 3D segmentation of the DICOM data or DICOM file. Basically, DICOM file kya hota hai? If you know, uh, if you've seen an image, uske piche ek extension hota hai dot .jpg, hai na? It is an image file format. JPG is the image file format. Same way, DICOM is the uh, medical image format. Okay, dot .dcm. Okay, so we are going to play with these files today. Huh? So that is the first and have some idea about how virtual surgery planning is done. So this is going to be a hands-on, this is going to be a demo part. And under virtual surgery planning, as I said, mock surgery and guide fabrication and then finally 3D printing. Here I'll show you what the slicing procedure is and then I'll show you in the printer. Printer kaise kaam karta hai. We have a printer in the department, okay? So we'll start with the uh, 3D segmentation of the DICOM data. So this is a case of radicular cyst in the left maxilla okay use radicular cyst this is fine if you're going to show the ct scan to your colleagues or uh, some surgeons okay they have a practice of reading the uh, dicom files but if what if you want to show it to a bda student okay Unko itna se nahi aata hai. what if you want to show it in the lecture or in a presentation whatever it is one option of improving upon this is to record a video Okay, so you can see video is recorded. I'll show you your video because it record hota hai. one option is this, but even this, uh, even this would require the knowledge of how to interpret a CT scan. Okay, we can take it a step further. We can record the video of the 3D view. Let's see. You can record this, but even a video is a sequential displaying of images. Video is just 30 images per second being displayed one after the other. Okay, so it's going be this can be helpful for a student, but we can take it a step further using a 3D model. After segmentation, we get a 3D model. We can use it in the PPT. Ababologe, what is the difference between this and the video? You can view it from different angles. As per your wish, this is on the right side. Now, if I want to see how it, what is the involvement of the nasal floor? Just change the view and you can see that. Okay. So this is the one application teaching or presentation, okay? And it's print karke aapko jo karna kar sakte ho, that is a different thing, but 3D segmentation. Then this is a, a case of ossifying fibroma. One of my PGs presented this way during our interdepartmental meet. So if you show this to a BDS, kisi ko bhi this is the mandible and this is the lower jaw and the extent. And if we rotate this, the guy is going to see, okay, this is the lingual, lingual view, okay, posterior view. So, then we come to the next step, surgery planning. So, my first ever uh, stint with virtual surgery planning was with this case. So, in Pune, I was called in for, a, a prosthodontist called in for me for uh, this case. 
you can see the ridge is very thin okay he wanted to place the implants he wanted me to perform the ridge split and to be honest mera pehla case tha wo i was a little nervous so what i did was i took the patient ct scan and i created a model of the patient ct scan i printed it two models and do mock surgery us pe practice surgery kari on the model okay and then i went on and did the surgery so there are less surprises once you have performed already on the patient's jaw aapke haath mein jaw tha patient ka same anatomy okay so this was the first uh, uh, this was my first experience with 3d surgery mock surgery then implant guides to aap sab ne dekha hoga okay so this was uh, this patient particularly i was concerned uh, i didn't want to uh, have any uh, you can say i didn't want to take any chances because the patient was a md physician okay high profile doctor so i cre- uh, i took the patient ct scan and uh, i took a intraoral scan of the patient and i created a uh, implant guide for the patient okay these are the sleeves uh, these are the sleeves and these are the keys for the different drills so but still i didn't want to take take the chances but one of the two implants failed and then second attempt mein I, i was able to do it properly so failures hote hain then next this was the same patient jo maine abhi aapko bataya tha uh, in which we did the all on four okay same patient again segmentation se i took the 3d model and presented it here so is se we created the bone supported guide this is not soft tissue supported guide okay we gave a long incision ex- uh, reflected the flap and this was directly placed over the bone okay and this is the final opg maxilla was done free hand mandible was with the guide okay so yeah this what do you see in this parasymphysis fracture and subcondylar fracture okay so what we did was i again extracted the 3d model using the dicom files and i performed the mock surgery reduced the subcondylar fracture i reduced the parasymphysis fracture and uh, i gave the model to my pgs to prevent the plates and to practice plating ye aapko forward karenge just pass it on okay so this is one use mock surgery and uh, for practice you can see the fracture line and the plate pre adapted and placed the same thing then we can perform mock orthognathic surgery i'll show you an example of this so you can see the face is also being manipulated along with the jaws okay that is another thing then again as i showed you earlier implant guides this was a so, uh, teeth supported guide tooth supported guide then we can create resection guides using this method patient specific implant tmj uh, prosthesis again patient specific implants and uh, this was the mandible printed for our pgs to practice orthognathic surgery and implant placement so then after all of this we move on to printing once you have done everything mock surgery ho gaya ya virtual surgery planning karke we created a guide resection guide implant guide whatever it is you have done it you created the stl model now we are going to go ahead with the printing hame wo print karke model chahiye to use in the surgery right so now can you tell me what this is ye kya ho raha hai what is this process called as and this is conventional wala what is it prostho ka hai lab mein jo hota hai see cat to hai but ye kya cut ho raha hai milling yes so milling in that you can see the technician he placed the whole disc zirconia disc in the milling machine but what the milling machine did was it removed the excess tissue uh, tissue excess material and then created the crown now this is something called as subtractive modeling okay subtractive modeling because we are removing the material now the the problem with this method is that a lot of material is wasted right kafi sara hum cut karke aise nikal de rahe so this is subtractive modeling now on the other hand we have something called as additive modeling uh, additive modeling this particular uh, printing model is fdm printing which is also called as fused deposition modeling as the name suggests what it does is we have a spool 
printer. This is just a schematic diagram. We have a spool of a plastic filament. Now that filament is passed through a very hot nozzle. Now the nozzle में जाते it melts and then that molten uh, plastic is deposited layer by layer. And that is why you see the horizontal lines in the mandible that is printed because we have a FDM printer at, a, at our department. Okay, so FDM printer. The printer that we have at our department is Flashforge Creator Pro 2, and the benefit of this printer is it can print two models together. You can see there are two nozzles here, one and two. Okay, that is why we bought this one because uh, it is faster. In FDM printer, the printing speed is usually very slow. Okay, because the uh, plastic is melt करके deposit कर रहा है. Okay, so सिर्फ एक प्रिंट करेंगे इट इज गोइंग टू टेक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम दैट मैंडेबल जो अभी मैंने आपको पास ऑन किया है दैट दैट टुक सिक्स आवर्स टू प्रिंट ओके सो इफ यू वांट टू प्रिंट टू एक एक करके करेंगे इट विल टेक ट्वेल्व आवर्स वी कैन प्रिंट टू ऑफ देम टुगेदर यूजिंग टू नॉजल्स सो छह घंटे में दो मिल जाएंगे सो इट इज कंपेरेटिवली फास्टर ऑफकोर्स एज कंपेयर टू नॉर्मल प्रिंटर्स दिस इज दिस इज द फर्स्ट मैंडेबल दैट वी प्रिंटेड विद प्रिंटर आई टुक अ फोर आवर्स टाइम लैप्स ऑफ द मैंडेबल ऑफ द प्रिंट and the four hours are concised into 15 seconds compressed into 15 seconds and you can see the print is being deposited layer by layer okay and the final print look like this so this is the print uh, yeah this is the mandible so basically you can see in the in the in that print you can see horizontal lines slightly these are because of the layer wise printing fuse deposition modeling then we have another common method another type of printer that is commonly used in dentistry that is dlp printer so basically if you saw in the fdm there was a build plate on top of that the print was being done and the plate was moving right in that fdm the print the plate was moving down in this the plate moves up and in this what happens is the plate is dipped inside the resin liquid resin and the resin is cured uh, by a uh, वेरी फोकस लाइट इसमें भले ही इतना ब्रॉड लाइट दिखा रहा है बट द लाइट इज वेरी फोकस सो जिस भी एरिया पे द लाइट इज फोकस्ड ऑन द बिल्ड प्लेट दैट एरिया द रेजिन इन दैट एरिया इज क्योर्ड इट बिकम्स हार्ड एंड तो एक एक करके रेजिन इज बींग क्योर्ड लेयर बाय लेयर ओके सो दैट इज डीएलपी आई शो यू द वीडियो सो दिस इज द डीएलपी प्रिंटर So the build plate moves out and light cures the resin on the build plate and gradually layer by layer this is being printed. Now this curing, this printing is being done by the light, light source. So this is comparatively faster, not comparatively, significantly faster. Okay. So this is way faster. The mandible, ये जो था छः घंटे लगे, approximately एक सवा घंटे में हो जाता है print in this. But this is very hard. आपने अगर resin use किया, आपने जो normal denture वाले resin भी use किए, they are very hard. as compared to this in this we are e easily able to cut through so implant placement ki practice ho ya fir uh, uh, orthognathic surgery ki practice karna hai it is easier with this model okay fdm dlp is very hard resin is very hard so that is why resin being very hard it doesn't uh, deform on heat okay that is why it is used for fabrication of the guides uh, Uh, implant supported uh, implant guides imp surgical guides so you saw this from this to this it was because of the middle procedure was 3d segmentation and then i printed the uh, the model and uh, uh, prevent uh, plate was adapted and placed on the model then this also requires requires 3d segmentation this again is dependent on segmentation same thing from this to this segmentation okay again segmentation okay so segmentation is important and that is why i wanted you guys to learn okay so aaj hum uska hands on karenge now something about me as you guys all know i am a maxillofacial surgeon also a 3d artist who uses mostly blender 3d but i am not limited to this one software i have multiple multiple softwares under my belt so i use many other softwares depending on the use case scenario then i i am also a python programmer i have created multiple programs for this college for which i am getting paid for so these are all the things these two things i learned during lockdown ye to 
PG में सीख लिया था ओके सो दैट्स मी सो आई हैव डबल विद 3D सर्जरी वर्चुअल सर्जरी प्लानिंग मॉक सर्जरी सिंस लास्ट 5 इयर्स मोस्टली आई यूज फ्री सॉफ्टवेयर्स व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू यूज टुडे बट आई एम नॉट लिमिटेड टू दोस ओके सो वी गोइंग टू यूज 3D स्लाइसर टुडे एंड विद दैट आई यूज यूजुअली आई एम मोर कंफर्टेबल विद ब्लेंडर so i use that but there is another software free software by autodesk also called as uh, called as mesh mixer we are going to use that and there is a something called as blue sky plan it is a specialized dental software it is a you can say partially paid software you can install it you can use it for viewing your ct scans you can uh, freely uh, plan your surgeries implant surgeries with this you are going to get two free implant surgeries with blue sky plan then after that for every case you're going to you'll have to pay 20 dollars okay so you can say partially free so these are the four softwares so and today we are going to talk about we're going to work hands on isme and isme and i'll show you some demo with this okay and then these are the free softwares then there are some paid software of course these are the general purpose softwares so these are going to this will work but it is the learning curve is steep and it is going to take a slightly longer time okay as compared to the other specialized paid software and these softwares are materialize nemofab and exocad okay these are very expensive inme se sasta wala ye hai baki dono are very expensive this is especially used for uh, orthognathic surgery planning this can, uh, this is more of a general surge, uh, surgery planning software okay so these are all the softwares that you should know about these are the free ones and these are the paid one at least naam pata hona chahiye my friend recently went uh, for a government uh, government uh, hospital ke interview ke liye oral surgeon he was asked the question what software do you use for orthognathic surgery planning he didn't know most common is nemofab so any questions till now 